Hello and welcome to Stop Ross Maths Key Skill video on solving quadratics of the form AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero, requiring prior rearrangement and factorising. So we've got this quadratic equation here, and what makes a quadratic equation is that we have this x squared term in here. We also have an x term, and we're also going to have a constant term. A constant term is just a term without an x on it. Now, the steps to solve a quadratic equation, as we previously saw, are this. We want to get it in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So we want zero on one side. Then we want to factorise it. And then from there, we can make each term zero. And we'll see what this means as we go along. So we first need it in the form something x squared plus something x plus something equals zero. So we want zero on one side. Now seemingly a good first step is to get rid of this brackets by expanding it. So if we do that, we do the two times the five x, which is 10 x. And we do the two times the four, which is eight. And then we want to get zero on one side. Now you should get everything on the side where the x squared term is positive. So we want to leave the three x squared here. If you were to move it to the other side, it would become minus 3x squared, which would be negative. So we'll keep that there, and we'll move these terms over here. So to get rid of that 10x here, we're going to subtract 10x from each side. So we're going to get 3x squared minus 10x. And then to move this 8 over here, we subtract 8 from both sides. So we'll have minus 8 here. And now we've got nothing left on the right-hand side. So we've now done step 1. We've got it in this form. Something x squared plus something x plus something or minus something equals 0. So the next step is to factorise. Now the way I did this in a previous video is I found two numbers which added to give the middle number of minus 10 and multiply to give the first times the last number. Some people call this the AC method because you're finding two numbers which multiply to give the first times the last where that's A, that's B, that's C. So AC, that would be minus 24. And then we split the middle term using these numbers. So what two numbers add to give minus 10 times give minus 24? Well, let's think of numbers that multiply to give uh, 24. Well, 12 and 2 multiply to give 24, uh, except one of them has to be negative to multiply to give a negative number. Oh, and these somehow combine to make minus 10 to add or subtract, don't they? Now, if you were to make this one minus, then when you add them, minus 12 plus 2 would be minus 10, which is right. And when you multiply them, minus 12 times 2 is minus 24, that's right. So remember, we then split the middle term using those two numbers. So the minus 10x gets split into minus 12x and plus 2x. Yep. We need the x's there because if we just had minus 12 plus 2, that would be minus 10, not minus 10x. So all we've done is just split that into a sum of two terms. We've still got the other terms there. And we've got the minus 8 here. And then do you remember the next step was to factorise each half. So I underline each half. What's common to this and this? Well, 12 and 3 have 3 in common. x squared and x have an x in common. Then we need a bracket. 3x times what is 3x squared? Well, it's x. 3x times what is minus 12x, minus 4. Then to remember that we left a gap and then we duplicated that bracket. So the x minus 4 gets duplicated. And then we think, well, what times x minus 4 is 2x minus 8? Well, it's 2. And we need a plus symbol there. You have to have a plus or a minus there. Otherwise, we'd just be multiplying everything together rather than adding two lots of x minus 4. Then the final step is, well, what does this and this have in common? Well, we can factorise out the x minus 4, open a new bracket, and then say x minus 4 times what is 3x x minus 4? Well, it's 3x. And x minus 4 times what is plus 2 x minus 4? Well, it's plus 2. Um, and note, by the way, we still have that equals 0 there, so I left it out here by mistake. Equals 0, equals 0 because it's an equation, it's not just an expression. So we've now managed to do step two, we've factorised it, and now we just have to make each of these terms zero. Because remember, if the product of two things is zero, then one of them has to be zero. So if the x minus four was zero, what minus four is zero? Well, it's four. And you remember the quick way of doing it is you just negate that. So if it was negative, it becomes positive, if it was positive, it becomes negative, so that becomes plus four as a solution. And then if we do a similar thing here, 
Remember, we just negate that, so it becomes minus 2, but you have to divide by the number on front of the 3. So we get minus 2 over 3. And there we go. Those are our two solutions to this equation.